In today's video, we're talking about information markets and what exactly they are, as well as a company known as Polymarket or polymarket.com that allows me and you to utilize these information markets in a unique way. To simplify what an information market is, it's essentially a way for people to barter for information about a future event. So you have an event where essentially there's an outcome and people can put their money where their mouth is and speculate on what will happen for that event. Now, what's interesting about information markets is the fact that when people are giving their opinions on an event and there's money at stake, they're more likely to take the time and put really deep thought into what the outcome is most likely to be. Whereas in today's society, if you go to Twitter or online or anywhere, there's lots of opinions out there, but there's no money behind those words. So you can just make crazy claims and the prediction of that outcome doesn't really have any meaning behind it. So that's why information markets are pretty interesting. Now what's interesting about information markets is for the longest time, it's just been a theory, right? There was no real world application of how to apply these information markets. And that's changed with the introduction of cryptocurrency. And a company like Polymarket is a company that has essentially leaned into cryptocurrency and information markets and have merged the two into a real world application. Essentially, Polymarket is an online platform that is layered on top of Ethereum. So there's different events that are created on the Ethereum blockchain, and people can speculate on the outcome of that event. So from a speculation standpoint, you can make money if you have information. And from an information standpoint, if you want to see the more likely outcome for an event, you can go to polymarket.com and see where people are putting their money and what is more likely to come out of a binary event. So there's three things that Polymarket allows you to do. Discover new markets, two, buy the outcome that you think will happen, three, sell or wait for the market to expire and collect your winnings. So I'm going to explain that a little further later in the video on exactly how you can use Polymarket to essentially speculate on certain events. This is the polymarket.com website, and you can see down here there's different events that are set up through smart contracts on Ethereum where people are speculating on a yes or no to a question. So for instance, this first one that has a volume of $22 million worth of bets is asking will Donald Trump be inaugurated for his second term as president of the USA on inauguration day January 20th 2021 so if we click into that essentially we see that 90% of the betting pool believes that won't happen while 10% of the betting pool believes it's possible and what's kind of cool is you can see the history of the contract since the beginning and how people's opinions changed over time so at the beginning you can see people thought it was more likely that Donald Trump would serve a second term as the president. But as we approach the inauguration date, people think that is less likely. In regards to actually speculating on the event, how it works is you would take the USDC, which is a cryptocurrency that is essentially pegged to the US dollar. So you would either buy it on the website or transfer it in via a wallet, and I'll show you that later. But basically, if you wanted to put $100 on this event, you'd buy 100 shares of the yes outcome. And so if it actually turned out he did get a second term, you would win $979. So $979 minus your initial 100, you'd basically make $879. Now, let's say you did the same thing for no. You're going to put up $100 and get 109 shares and the max winnings would be 109. So 100 minus the 109, you'd win $9, just because it's more likely at this point that he wouldn't get a second term, so you're not gonna make as much money. Now the next logical question is, how is this market actually determined to be a yes or no? 
So with each market, you can actually read where it will be resolved and kind of the guidelines of the yes or no. So down here, you can see that it's laying out if Joe Biden or anyone else other than Donald Trump is inaugurated as the president, it will be no. Uh, if Trump even claims that he's still president but is not officially inaugurated, still no. So basically, it's saying before February 1st, if he is not inaugurated as the second president at this source, basically at this website, the bet will result in no, and those that have the no shares will essentially get the full payout. So that's kind of how it works when it comes to determining the outcome of the actual smart contract. Now, if you're thinking there is no way Donald Trump would get a second term as president with everything we know today. I kind of agree with you, and I think I'm actually gonna make this $100 bet in this market to kind of show you guys how to deposit money and how easy it is to actually trade on polymarket.com. Now, not saying you have to do any speculation, you can always come here as an observer, but if you are interested in using an information market, polymarket is pretty cool, so I'm gonna show you guys how to sign up and deposit money. So it's gonna to ask to sign up or log in. It's gonna ask for your email. So you put that in and it's gonna send you a link to open up. And then once you're logged in, you just hover over your account name, go to deposit, and you can deposit your USDC. Now there's two ways to do it. You can either buy with a debit or credit card. And there's usually some fees with that. Now for me, it's easier to just deposit USDC using this wallet link. So you can buy USDC from Coinbase or crypto.com and then send the USDC to this wallet address and it will show up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're in the Coinbase wallet. We're going to click send $100, put in the wallet address, click continue, and then there's going to be a small network fee. So we're going to send around $98.94 to that address. And after waiting for a few minutes, you'll get your deposit. So initiate deposit, uh, funds are being transferred. And there you have it. There's the deposit, $98.94. And we have to wait a little bit for it to actually settle on the blockchain and confirm that the transaction has gone through. So you have to wait a few minutes before you can actually use it on any of the smart contract markets. So now we come back to the market itself, put in how much we want to wager, so $98.93, and click on the buy. Yes, confirm that I want to buy the no. Click on that, and we're going to wait. And now that we actually have those shares, you can just go back to your portfolio, and you can see all of the market positions that you have. So it's listed here that we bought 107 shares of no. You can view the transaction. It's on the Ethereum blockchain and we are all good to go. So now that the trade is set up, basically you just wait for the actual outcome to happen to see who wins the bet, the no's or the yeses. And if you want to get in and out of the trade itself, you can uh, earlier before the actual event is settled. So if you want to get out, you would click on the trade and basically sell out of your shares. So that's pretty much it. Uh, play market pretty easy to use um, as you can see and definitely a very innovative and interesting way to apply information markets with the combination of cryptocurrency so yeah from political outcomes to whether coinbase is going to become publicly traded before january 1st um, you have a lot of different markets that are out there set up with smart contracts that people are speculating on so as you can see Polymarket.com makes it pretty easy to actually use an information market. And what I think is really cool is the fact that I've been in the crypto space for a while and I love these projects that make it very seamless and it doesn't even seem like you're using cryptocurrency. So, you know, something that couldn't exist years ago now with cryptocurrency and second layer solutions with Ethereum you have poly market and you have an information market whether you're a speculator and you see an opportunity to maybe make some money from it or if you're just an observer uh, poly market is pretty cool just to go on and see what people are thinking about a certain event and the outcomes and not only just their opinion uh, people putting money 
where their mouth is. So pretty cool project overall. And if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Whether you want to be a speculator or observer, it's still a pretty cool project. So thanks guys for watching and have a great day.